Welcome on in to Same But Different, the weekly movie talk show where we review movies much like a book club, but we do it with movies. It's very original. My name is Brody. I'm here with Derek. Hi. This week, we decided to watch a new Netflix original called Rebel Ridge mm. and talk about it. It was doing really well. According to Derek, I had never heard of it. <laughs> And we figured, why not give it a looky-loo? So, Derek, why don't you tell us what you thought about Rebel Ridge? I will. I heard good things about it. I wasn't saying good things about it. I had just heard through other sources and other reviewers that I like to watch that it was kind of like this sleeper hit. Wasn't really marketed. Just kind of dropped on Netflix. And it was uh, pretty good, according to some people. And I have to say... I really enjoyed my time with this film. Okay. I'm giving it a 7.5. I watched it yesterday. I'd like to watch it again, maybe, or think about it some more. But it was definitely like 7, 7.5 for me. Overall, very surprising. And I think that's where it won a lot of points for me. If you just watch the beginning, pause it, and then like guess what's going to happen, you would be guessing based on like so many other movies that have done this. And it's set up that way. But it kind of surprises you in a way that it, it doesn't go that that route it still does but in a in its own fresh way i don't know it's hard to explain usually a person is wronged in some way a la john wick's dog dying and he goes on a revenge rampage and kills everybody in the process that's where i thought this was going this guy was wronged he's just like this big ripped dude and tr military trained dude where i thought he was just gonna go on a fucking rampage and you know what i would i would have enjoyed that movie too <laughs> but he's i mean he still kind of goes on a rampage but he goes on a little bit of an intellectual rampage because he goes to bring down the system these are cops that harmed him he goes to bring down the system from the inside there's some outward obviously violence he goes through back doors and in intellectual ways to kind of like pull this little town's corrupt police society up from its roots and i thought that was really smart it wasn't pandering in regards because obviously it's like a very racially motivated movie in that regard too because our main character is a black guy and all these white cops are just fucking with his life i like how they went a very smart way with it rather than just like bloodbath Further to what you said, it, it is absolutely a racially motivated movie, but they never go out to explicitly say that mm -hmm. even once, I don't think. And I really do appreciate that, too. It's a different take on it. It was very fresh. Even the one moment where they do touch upon it, where the Hicks are standing outside, there's a black lady cop that puts him in the car. She mm. turns around and says, like, this man is a war hero. Like, don't fucking say things like that. Our main character says, thanks for defending me. And she's like, that wasn't for you. That was for me. That's it. That's all you get. Honestly, that was such a good moment. Right, moving on to the characters. The characters are fantastic. I think they were great. The bad guys were bad guys, for sure. We had one cop bad guy played by, what's his name? The guy who plays Roy. Roy, Roy in The Office, yeah. Where you're kind of co you're kind of convinced that he's, he's a bad guy, but then there's levels to him. And then we have the lady cop who you're kind of convinced is definitely going to be on his side. And she is, for the most part, but she's doing her job. We have Anna Sophia Robb, who was fine. She'll always be 10 years old in my eyes for some reason. Like, it's hard to watch her on screen. Don Johnson uh, is a man you love to hate, I think. I think he plays a villain very well. Up against our main dude. I forget his name. Pierre something, right? Forgive me for not knowing your name, dude, because I loved him. He reminded me a lot of Jack Reacher in the way that, like, he's so stoic and calm. And once in a while, you see him just kind of, like, let out a burst of anger or frustration. Yo, this guy's sick. When the movie was over, I immediately, I was like, I want that guy for Spawn. Oh, that'd be cool. Give, That's a good choice. Give me Spawn with him. What more do I have to say about this? It was a slow burn. There was a lot of talking, but even the conversations, I'm like, I'm here for this. Intellectual and quick. I was intrigued the whole time. It paid off, in my opinion. It was a sweet ending. It it was filmed very well. This is the same filmmaker as The Green Room and Blue Ruin. If you haven't seen those movies, do yourself a favor. Course correct that. I liked it. I liked it. A pretty solid review. I, I rather enjoyed myself. I rather enjoyed this movie. I would argue a little bit less than you in that I gave it a 7 out of 10. You said a lot of what I had to say anyway. I mean, the main character was incredible, both acted and just portrayed. Like, that character is an incredible protagonist. He's a hero, even down to, like, his quiet morals, he's a hero. He's so sly and smart and witty in the conversations he has with these cops, and he's always... I don't want to say complacent, but cooperative. I, too, really did enjoy the way the movie built into a very, very 
cool, <laughs> for <laughs> lack of a better word, climax. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever seen a movie like this have a climax like that, where it was almost grounded in a way. Like, it wasn't huge. Mm-mm. It wasn't crazy. It was very just well done done and believable that that's where this story would end which is wild because at one point i remember myself saying like what is his plan here (laughs) yeah i mean the fact that he's able to pull that off is insane yeah like that's a suit that's you're dead any any person in real this is a movie any person in real life is dead Uh, but hey whatever Uh, yeah yeah i mostly enjoyed all the characters i however do not think anna sophia rob did a very good job i'm not criticizing her as an actor but something about that southern accent it just never sounds real other than that yeah it was gripping it was very well done i will say i think i found it a little more boring than you oh there were aspects of the movie i okay i think uh, it's hard to explain this because it i like how the movie never went that extra mile to insanity but i also kind of dislike the fact that we are well aware of what this man is capable of and you never really fully get to see it Ah, uh, kind of like trap kind of like trap you get bits and pieces of it here and there more than trap i'll give this 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 was like in that regard they did a better job in this because you do get to see it sometimes in this until the climax and even that was a very reserved smart tactical climax you, i just i just wanted like one or two go that extra mile scenes i think breaking that dude's arm was nuts yeah that was cool i think a lot of it leading up to the climax was rather not so much what he could do to others so much what he could take from others yeah you yeah know? no you're absolutely right me as a regular person i'm like fucking do something about uh. it then, bud. <laughs> and this being a movie i'm just like just fucking punch him in the face you can take out that entire room of people and he's just like okay yeah you got it all right sir okay Mm -hmm. i'm like Mm -hmm. fuck and that's also something i really respect i just have a hard time like this was this -hmm. was marketed as like a thriller and and people were like oh it's reacher in the south and like Mm -hmm. it's not really Mm -hmm. it's much more grounded and and slow than that it's not just you're not going to get the action or or crazy antics you find in that sort of thing. My only flaws are I really didn't like Osan- uh, Anna Sofana funny Reba Bob Banana. And <laughs> I just found it a little slow at times. I'm not saying they should have shaved a lot off because you are right in the fact that the dialogue was... It was like the first 15 minutes of Inglorious Bastards, how you're just like glued to that dialogue. Yeah. Um, but just sometimes it was a little too much of that. Also, while watching the movie, whenever a bridge showed up, did you think Bridge to Terabithia? No, because it's not even a bridge in Bridge to Terabithia. It's a rope. I don't care. Every time a bridge, I was like, ah, is she going? We're going to Terabithia? No, I didn't think that at all. But when she was all heroined out, I was like, oh, it's like when they found her in the river. So... (laughs) Are my lips blue? Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that's funny. Have you seen Rebel Ridge? Uh, Apparently, it was number one on Netflix, even though nobody I know is talking about it. So if you've seen it, let us know what you thought in the comments below, please. And thank you. While you're down there, comment, follow, like, subscribe. All that stuff means the world to us. Yes, please. The world. The world. Next week, come on back to the channel right here on Wednesday. We are going to be reviewing Speak No Evil. It's been marketed out the ass. I'm so sick of the trailer. Yeah. I'm so sick of it. Yeah. But I also really want to see it, and I think it's going to be good. A lot of people have the same complaint. But it's it's Blumhouse. What do you expect? Blumhouse really has the money for marketing. It's insane. I'm expecting to see a trailer for it before I see it. <laughs> it plays before the movie. And then afterwards, hey, don't forget we just watched. Yeah, exactly. All I'm expecting is I'm going to come out of that and say... James McAvoy did it again. Yeah, he, that's there's what I'm no, expecting. No failure from that man. He hits every time. Come on back next week. Review that with us. Thanks for hanging out. I yeah. got a new setup. This has been a blast. Oh, I can't wait to film physically in that space. Uh, uh, uh. Love you guys so much. Keep watching movies. It's weird hearing that. I can't. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs>